Tonight at 10 o'clock, the amount of high school students addicted to e-cigarettes is alarming. It's now being called an epidemic by the FDA. KETK's Mai Owens joins us live outside of Robert E. Lee High School in Tyler, where parents learned how to put an end to this growing problem. Mai. Casey, what's in the mist? That was the question many parents had on their mind tonight as they learned more about vaping. That brand, it is the number one thing that students are using. It is easy to hide, it's easy to get, and since 2017, that company has seen their sales increase 900%. He's talking about the device, Juul. But for school officials, it's called a problem. I believe it is it's, it's the new cigarette, and so I think it's a problem nationwide. Curry says now he's focused on stopping students before they inhale. One of the things we're doing is we're talking with the students, educating the students, we like we're bringing in a speaker. Um, you know, we're just constantly meeting with them, talking about that, kind of being proactive instead of being reactive about the process. They look like thumb drives, similar to this one, and simply by plugging it in, it's charging. Now schools have to wonder, are kids getting ready to do work or getting ready to vape? Students like Xavier say it's a problem that's hard to track. I've seen people do it. I've seen it done around me. Uh, sometimes going from a football game, I mean, it just happened. But just overall, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it from different schools. I've seen it from just hanging out with friends and everything else. But meetings like this one help to clear the air. I let them know what's going on, but I also want them to, to know that the school wants them to work with them. Working to put an end to this issue. Now, Holiday told me that he doesn't just stop here. Tomorrow he'll be speaking to the students at Three Lakes Middle School. Now, I asked him, is middle school too young to talk to them? He told me, absolutely not, because that's the age students are really experimenting. Reporting live in Tyler, my Owens, KTK News. Continuing to coverage tonight.